there, Billy. Who's that? You seem bored. I am bored, mister. Just twiddling your thumbs? Yeah. Why don't we go on an interactive journey of learning? That sounds dangerous. Don't worry, you'll come back in one piece. I better bring my inhaler. Okay, let's go! Yay! Gee willikers, where are we? In the interactive vortex of learning, but my aim was a little off. Whiz bang, it smells terrible in here. Sorry. You know, this place sort of looks a bit familiar. You know, I swear it reminds me of my alley. Uh, no, it's the interactive vortex of learning. Oh, don't worry, I believe you. Gee willikers, how did you do that? I've mastered many aspects of the occult. You wouldn't want to know. Is it safe to touch? Yes, it is. Now, take a seat. Take, take, take a seat right there. Okay, today's lesson is about propaganda. What's that? Propaganda is information disseminated that is often biased or misleading, often used to promote a political cause or point of view. What's disseminated? To spread abroad. Oh, that makes sense. Well, let's go and see our first example of propaganda. Okay, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Put that out! Don't you know smoking's bad oh, whoa, for you? Whoa, Point that thing at me, man. What? what? I, this is, I need this, man. It's bad for your lungs. So what, man? Smoking's bad. This is whack. But why is smoking bad? Because it gives you lung cancer. No, because of propaganda. Really? Yes. How does smoking have anything to do with propaganda? I'll explain. Oh, hello. I'm Morgan Freeman. And tonight I will be explaining to these idiots over here how propaganda really works. As seen in diagram A, the tobacco companies use propaganda several and numerous times to get you to join their scheme. Some of these include the bandwagon technique, which says that if you don't smoke, then you will be excluded because all of your friends do. Another technique is faulty logic. This says that if you smoke, you will become cool, even though you will actually get lung cancer and most likely die. Another technique is card stacking in which the tobacco companies say only the good things about their products, and not the bad ones. Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. Action! 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 Zuntai, you okay? No, I'm not okay. I have that virus that's going around. Oh, yeah. You better, you better stay back. This one's a doozy. That's okay. I'll be fine. No, no. Do not be a hero. Last year, there are 114,000 known viruses for PCs. PCs? Not Max. So, you just grab this one. I think I got to crash. Hey, if you feel like that'll help, good. Many of you have seen this Mac video multiple occasions. Well... You might have not known it is filled with propaganda. The first example of propaganda is Argumentum Ad Hominem. The actor that portrays the PC is found to be a nerd. And this assumes that all people who use PC are nerds, which is not necessarily true. It also uses name calling, because who would want to use a PC when you're being called a nerd for using one? The third type of propaganda is card stacking. It only tells the good things about Macs, and only the bad things about PCs. I'm on the ball. I'm on the ball. Are you on the ball? Wow, what's this? It's new OxyClean detergent. Get on the ball, and you'll never have to pour or measure detergent again. So how does it work? Just place the OxyClean detergent ball in the blue toss and go dispenser. Just toss and go. It stays in your washer while it cleans over 25 loads. Laundry just got easier. This is all I need, 25 loads. <laughs> That's great. 
That's right. It's so easy, even your kids can do laundry. Now, how do you know that it's not going to dissolve more than what you need? Its patented formula delivers oxygen and detergent throughout your wash cycle, whitening and brightening your clothes. I know what you're thinking. What about the rinse cycle? Watch this. Ordinary detergent uses lots of suds. But OxyClean's detergents cleans without leaving a soapy residue. I'll put them both in the rinse cycle. Ordinary detergent still leaves suds, while OxyClean detergent always rinses clean. A year's supply of powder or liquid take up all this space and weigh over 60 pounds. A year's supply of OxyClean detergent takes up no space at all. Those other brands, they better watch out. Because <laughs> this OxyClean detergent ball, this is it. This is the winner. Four detergent balls, the toss and go dispenser, a huge value, and enough to do over a hundred loads of laundry for only $19.99. So get on the ball, the OxyClean detergent ball. In this example of propaganda, we see OxyClean using multiple amounts of propaganda. Our first example of this is repetition. You hear him say, get on the ball, multiple times. We also hear many testimonials by multiple, multiple customers who praise the product. We also see card stacking because it only tells the good facts about the product, none of the bad ones. And it seems so convenient. Well, it may not be so convenient after all. Hi, it's Vince with ShamWow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat, the RV. ShamWow holds 20 times its weight in liquid. Look at this, it just does the work. Why do you want to work twice as hard? Doesn't trip, doesn't make a mess. Wring it out, you wash it in the washing machine. Made in Germany, you know the Germans always make good stuff. You can cut it in half, use one as a bath mat, drain your dishes with the other one, use one as a towel. Olympic divers, they use it as a towel. Look at that, completely dry. Put a wet sweater, roll it up, it dries your sweaters. Here's some cola, wine, coffee, cola, pet stains. Not only is the damage gonna be on top, there's your mildew, that is gonna smell, see that? The most, of we're gonna do this in real time. Look at this, put on the spill, turn it over. Without even putting any pressure, 50% of the cola right there you follow me camera guy the other 50 percent the color starts to come up no other towel is going to do that it acts like a vacuum and look at this virtually dry on the bottom see what i'm telling you sham wow you'll be saying wow every time i can't live without it i just love it oh my gosh i don't even buy paper towels anymore if you're going to wash your cars or any kind of vehicle you'd be out of your mind not to own one of these all i can say is sham wow we see many examples of propaganda in the ShamWow commercial. One of these is testimonials from many of the product's customers, all of them praising the product. We also see repetition in the commercials. One of these is the saying ShamWow, which is said multiple times the name of the product. ShamWow, ShamWow, ShamWow. And then we also see the card stacking uh, part of the commercial, which says, uh, only good facts about the product, none of the bad facts are given, which misleads the customer into uh, receiving the product. We're America's favorite, number one. Where else could you have so much fun? It's just one place, just one place you can go where it's fun to eat and talk and laugh and still get some change back. We're sparkling at McDonald's, taking pride in what we do, that's why you love also uses propaganda in their commercials. They use the bandwagon technique by showing multiple people they're having fun, so you should go there too. They also use the card stacking technique by showing that their food is good and their restaurant experience is fun, but is it necessarily healthy? And then they also use the glittering generalities technique by saying, America's favorite and saying that is very fun and it's a family experience.